I'm just not me without my morning coffee. Yeah, let's get some. It's on our way to class. Okay, I'm down. Yes! Wait, hold up there. Do you really need coffee or are you just tired? Um, excuse me, who are you? Her name's Muhammad, and what if I told you guys in reality, you're just really tired? No, this happens to me all the time. I got at least six hours of sleep last night. Yeah, well, that's actually not enough. You should be getting around eight to nine hours consistently. But as a kid, yeah, but not as an adult. And did you know that that's a myth? No way. Everyone knows that you don't need as much sleep as an adult. What if I told you your entire life's been a lie? At least in terms of sleep deprivation. Okay, so if we really need that much sleep, how come I'm still tired after like eight hours of sleep? Before we get there, we actually have to talk about what sleep is. Sleep is a condition of the mind and body in which the muscles and the nervous system are relaxed and less receptive. Your consciousness is also suspended, which means that you're less responsive. Oh, she's that cold, don't worry about her. So many people think that sleep is a passive process, but it's not actually true. Your body's still hard at work. And the work that it does can help maintain your immune levels, decrease health risks, maintain your hunger levels, and actually help your memory. Wait, what was the first thing that you said? You pulled an all-nighter, didn't you? Okay, but that still doesn't explain why I sometimes feel tired after eight hours. Patience, hey, young one. We've only just scratched the surface of the reason your body needs to be in a half-alive and half-dead state every time the moon rises. So let's talk about the five different stages of sleep. Stage one is when you're kind of tired, you're feeling woozy, and often you drift in and out of sleep. I'm awake, I'm awake. And stage two is when the eyes stop moving and brain activity tends to decrease. In stages three and four, we get to deep sleep. This is when your eyes and muscles stop moving and it gets really hard to wake someone up. Uh, is he okay? Yeah, yeah, keep going, keep rolling. It's good, it's good, you're fine. And stage five is usually called REM sleep or rapid eye movement. That's when your eyes start moving really fast, your breathing gets heavier, and your brain waves are very similar to when you're awake. And you start dreaming at this point. And this is part of the answer to your question because it's been shown that REM actually decreases as we get older. I mean, check out this cool chart. Okay, so since REM decreases, does that mean that I feel sleepier? So I can't help but feel tired? Not exactly. Studies have shown that as you age, it takes longer for you to fall asleep, your REM sleep declines, and you wake up more at night. But they still recommend seven to nine hours of sleep. Basically, the myth is that the older you get, the less sleep you need. In reality, people just have a harder time falling asleep and staying asleep. You still need seven to nine hours though. How do we sleep better then? Now you're asking the right questions. Ditch the coffee, alcohol, and nicotine. Sleep somewhere that's dark, quiet, and cool, and sleep at a consistent time. It's all about setting good habits, guys. Huh, that's cool. Thanks. Don't mention it. And fun fact, the reason that elderly people sleep less is seen to be due to increasing health issues. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm off for bed.